Hey friends, welcome back to the show. I'm Tim. In today's video, we're heading to the far south point of the county to make an attempt at rejuvenating some new life to an old, run-down residential well water system. This ought to be fun. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, so we've arrived on location. If you look way up in there in those bushes, it's an old well system. You see that old tank sitting there? That's prehistoric. And there's a pump and a bunch of other goodies back in there. We're gonna have to, first of all, try to clear out some of those trees so we can get to work and get this system back up and going for the lady. Come prepared, we've got a brand new pressure tank here, bladder tank, as well as all our fittings and some pipe and all that stuff to boot. Uh, get out of these regular boots, put some swamp boots on because it is very wet in the area. And then we'll get on to uh, working on that pump system. As you can see in here, we've got a nasty little mess here with a lot of extra stuff that I don't think needs to be part of this system. It's a little old lady that's handicapped lives here by herself. This thing has a chlorinator system. It has this giant tank. And tell me in the comments down below if you know what this is. I don't know whether it's an old pressure tank or it's a uh, holding tank, but that thing's coming out of here because it's not necessary. It's, it's not a two pump system. There's no aerator system. Uh, the pump does run, but the problem is, is it won't shut off. I was out here the other day and uh, I shut the pump off and I made sure she had water to get through and all that stuff. I just don't want it burning up. And that little tank back there, the blue one is coming out. We're putting a new one in, but in the meantime, we're gonna clear all this mess out and try to get in here and replace some of this garbage installed a chlorine feeder into this mess we're not doing any of that stuff inside the house she has a salt system a softener we're going to keep that in there that's got to come out of here this is only holding 10 pounds of pressure i got a bicycle pump with me but i think this thing is about shot we got to get rid of this thing metal So we started getting a bunch of this cleared out and trying to make some sense of it. Uh, my helper is over here trying to follow those lines that go into the salt system inside. We need to know which one is coming over here and feeding the water main that goes into the house. Because we want to discontinue that guy right there as well as this little chlorinator system. Get rid of all this mess and just make it so it comes in from the well into the pump, new pressure tank, into the salt loop and then back out into the water main to the house. The only check valve that I can see right there. So I don't want to go messing with this pump on this end, all right? Because I don't want to lose my water back down into the shallow well. We're going to try to go ahead and get these two pressure tanks out of here and then start working our way towards uh, putting everything back together. I want to get that big old tank out of there, but it's full of water. You can see there's a valve down there. I'm going to try to take that off. There's also a hole in the tank down in there so whenever i release pressure all the water squirting out of that little hole we got to get this emptied out and get this thing out of the system Now we've cleaned out some of this mess. Still got that chlorinator system. That's got to get out of here. All right, here comes that chlorinator system. Get that thing out of here. <laughs> we haven't fun yet. It's time for us to get this new bladder tank out of the box and get it up into place. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Gould's Hydro Pro bladder tank. So I got the bladder tank flipped over on the bottom. You can see the inlet on here is inch and a quarter. All right, and we're gonna have to be male threaded adapter, PVC, and we're gonna have to bush that down to three quarter inch. 
ahead and updated this pressure switch on our pump here from a 2040 to a 3050. Uh, we want to have maximum pressure. This lady has not had any water pressure inside of her house and she can't remember how long. It takes like an hour to fill up the wash. Nice and easy, don't cross thread this. You always hear me say plastic versus metal, metal wins every time. Get that nice and snug up inside of there. Remember this is the bladder tank for pressurizing our system. Let me come in here. All right, slide it down as close to me as you can. Wow, how much better does that system look? Nice and sweet. Let me explain to you. There's going to be a hose dip that sits right in here. We're not putting that in there yet because we're going to get that water and pour it in here to make it so we can prime that pump. The shutoff valve right there in line so we can just isolate this area or if you needed to isolate the pressurized system inside the house and whatnot. Down to the pressure tank, ready to go. After we get this water in here and get this pump all primed up, we put the hose bit back on, brought it around the corner, tied it in, tied into the house, and back over there where it goes into the garage for the softener. Let's take a second and step back over here where the pump is and that pressure switch that I replaced. I upgraded this to a 3050. 3050 means that the pump will kick on when it drops down to 30 pounds of pressure, and once it reaches 50 pounds of pressure, it will kick itself off. Now this is what it equates to when it comes to calibrating your bladder tank. I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do that. Now with the 3050 switch, what we want to calibrate that bladder tank with this is where it cuts on is 30 pounds. So that tank, that bladder tank, has to be two pounds of air pressure lower than the cut on. Cut on is at 30 pounds. We need that tank pressurized to 28 pounds. Right there's our Schrader valve. Let's go ahead and take this off of here. Don't lose that little screw. That little that's reading about 45 pounds. So let's check our final pressure on our tank here. 28 pounds. Right, she's finally kicked off. Let's take a look at that spigot right there and see if we got any kind of water pressure coming in the house. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yes. <laughs> Old pressure. I think this gauge is a bit off. That should have stopped at 50. Of course, when we were working on it, it never went down below 20 when I knew all the pressure was out of there. So this gauge is off just a little bit. So before I leave, I'll end up uh, replacing that. But outside of that, We've got water in our system, and we're going to go in the house and test the pressure in there. Beautiful thing right there. Don't over tighten these. You will break that plastic. Just snug it by hand, just like that. Look at that. Off right at 50, baby. And no leaks. And success once again, and that turned out looking nice. Bye bye old stuff, low new well pump and system.
Hey, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. I'm not going to lie, this one made me a bit nervous. I've worked on a lot of wells in my time, but I've never had to completely go through this kind of a system, tearing out all this other mess and making the most sense out of it without crossing lines and everything went off without a hitch. Thanks so much for all the support. If you got any questions, leave them down below and don't forget to keep plumbing.